Holy, okay. All right. That is, uh, unfortunately, the world's weakest Pokemon and all of his friends. Don't worry, they're completely harmless. But just how harmless? In the regular game, Magikarp is pretty much as harmless as it gets. I mean, this guy, he can't even do damage. So we need something even worse. How do we do this? The first idea that came to mind is like Ditto, but if he was like just a little droopier and like a little more depressed. Now take that and give him the worst stats in the game and five, stop. <laughs> but here's the thing about this idea. It's really fucking boring. It just feels pointless. It's so uninteresting. It's so boring. We need to get weird with it. I need more ideas. I need more things to kind of feed off of. Love to have it. all your stats be one point each. And then for its moves, it would have a Brave Bird, a Wood Hammer, and Wild Charge. You know, to do some recoil damage. To no okay. Point. Recoil. For fun, for with only one HP, if you go for a recoil move, you just die. <laughs> <laughs> Jimbo's complete. <laughs> God, I hate him. To test if he's truly the worst, let's pit him against uh, literally just Route 1 Pokemon. He'll be level 50. They won't be. So I would love nothing more than for this Rookity to still somehow outspeed us, but we'll see. No way! No! <laughs> we are 46 levels above him. Like, that cannot... Oh, my God. You know, I thought this was going to be endearing. I thought I was going to, like, grow to love him or something. But this, I don't know, man. Okay, I made him level 100 just to feel something. Being at level 100 will definitely be able to, you know, outspeed. Okay, let's go straight for the Brave Bird. He's still... No way! No way, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it can't... I'm 96 levels above, and you still don't outspeed? A level 4 Scovet. At level 100, the... You can, you have seven speed. You have seven. seven. Even if he somehow survives uh, the other Pokemon's attack or if they go for a status move or like whatever, Jimbo will guaranteed die if you go for an attacking move. But that's the thing. You have to go for an attacking move. No way, Jimbo's getting an attack off. Jimbo, huge damage, Jimbo. Jimbo, you won. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> What if you had a magic hub with all whiskers? It's all it's oops all the whiskers. Uh, okay. You have, you have with the world's strongest Pokemon, it like everybody wants to see that. Like that's that's cool. Like everybody wants to win. So I, I don't know why. And the magic hub has three eyes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is gonna be so stupid. Alrighty, Frankie boy, do I have an idea for you? All right, hit me with it. Today we have the one, the only, the unrecognized party hat Weedle. Now, what? <laughs> I want him to have the color scheme of Weedle, but I don't want the hat to have the color scheme of Weedle. It looks so bad. Oh, no, you know what? He's kind of creepy. He's a little creepy, but he's kind of cute. He also looks like he's having a seizure, but it's he's all, he'll be all right. Anyways. You have moves, you splash, but it splash. makes all your stats negative six. Negative six? And, and it makes all the enemy stats Plus six, Plus six as well. So this is Happy Splash. It should raise all of his stats by six. No. All right, cool. Nothing's working. That's tight. Uh, okay, this is Sad Splash. It should lower all of my stats. No. All right, we're off to an amazing start. Present. I don't know if you can fix it to where present does no damage at all and it only heals the opponent, but <laughs> okay, that yeah. would be the ideal choice. That's He's possible. He looks cute with the hat, but it doesn't look like a hat. Let's try that. No. <laughs> we need to replace a Pokemon that has two separate textures because the party hat and the body need to be separate. Like, what's like another Pokemon that's like a similar shape-ish? <laughs> Wait, Barboach? Just thinking about how this could go wrong is, is hilarious to me. <laughs> No, dude. Frank, now we need a name, right? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I, I honestly, I think I'm the master at creating nicknames. You have to do Chester Cornelius III. <laughs> don't ask any questions. I don't know where the first or second is. All right, Frank, I hope these suggestions help Chester. you along your journey. Wait, how do you spell that? Chester Cornelius? You know, okay, so I'm looking. So Lindsay's idea, Lindsay and Rich have pretty similar ideas. Maybe we could combine them. I have such a love-hate relationship with modding. Like it's it's so fun, but when it doesn't work and nothing is going to plan, it just sucks. Okay, this should lower lowers attack by six. A crit. Rose my attack. 
making these Pokemon is just a cycle of doing something, seeing how it doesn't work, and then being like, all right, let's, let's troubleshoot. And then I troubleshoot and then I do the same thing. Maybe it's something with Splash specifically. Because if I go for Sad Splash, it fails. Over and over ago, I just keep throwing it at the wall. Okay, back to the drawing board. I, I just want him to look like a Pokemon. You know what I mean? It's not even throwing it at the wall until it sticks. It's just throwing it at the wall until I compromise. <laughs> <sighs> oh my God. Okay. Happy tackle. Raise his stats. Raise his stats. Yes. Okay. Now if I do sad tackle. Oh, damn. Fuck. <laughs> Dylan actually suggested an interesting strategy. He said, um, I feel like Dylan and Pat's ideas together will work really well here. So let's, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. He's water ground, desolate land with hydro pump and solar beam. All right. So if we go over hydro pump, obviously it should just, yeah, just fizzles out. Beautiful. And nope. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here's your dog shit Pokemon. I'm giving you a Wormadam. Okay. Here. I feel like just having Wormadam is kind of boring. So I don't know, maybe I'll get a little more creative with it. Wait. Wait, what if we just like... <laughs> Man, this weakest Pokemon thing sure is making me hungry. <laughs> Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals super duper easy by sending fresh, never frozen meals straight to your door every single week. Factor and food go hand in hand. <laughs> they sent food to your house Sorry. <laughs> let, me, let me try again. You could just pop them in the microwave, bam, at the button, two minutes, they're done. It's so sick. My favorite thing about Factor is the convenience. Oh, but I want quality food, but the convenience of fast food. Oh, like, what do I do? Just eat Factor. Just eat. I'm telling you, it's it's good. Please. They have so many different options. I mean, you got keto, vegan, vegetarian, whatever it is, whatever your diet is, they can accommodate it. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code asteroid60 for 60% 60 off your first Factor box. Thank you for sponsoring Factor. Now back to the video. Got it. She has one HP. One HP. For attack, five. Five attack. For defense, five. Got it. Yep. I see Special the- Special attack. I see the pattern. Five. Her speed. Yep. 200. What? And she has the ability, stall. Kylie, <laughs> take over. Now this war, madame, she's holding a flame orb. She only has one move. Yep. And that move is splash. Mm-hmm. By the way, splash does recoil damage. Yeah. Cool. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Frank. Good luck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, God. So stall's an ability that'll make us always go last. So yeah, 200 speed, completely useless. In theory, it's similar to Jimbo, but it's a lot funnier. Oh, oh, the burn. Oh, Hamlet, dude. What happened to you out there? Splash doing recoil flame warp. So you're pretty much, no matter what, you're just, you're guaranteed to die. All right, Hamlet. Hamlet. Uh, that's what his cry sounds like. Okay, tail whip. That's fine. Do recoil. Do recoil. It's not very effective. You're done. You're done. Free. You are just, for all intensive purposes, absolutely fine. So Hamlet is now a sitting duck. Um... Cool. You know how they have those Pokemon fusion generators where you can like fuse the Pokemon together and it makes like some gross, disgusting abomination like 99% of the time? Yeah. <laughs> Hippo, wait, I'm sorry. Hippo leaf. <laughs> That's so dumb. Looking at them, you just have so much regret. And I think that that type of mentality is actually perfect for this. Wait, is Bayleaf not in the game? Stop, dude. So to put this Pokemon in the game, I would have to find a model and textures online and then replace an existing Pokemon with these new assets and pray to God it looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Daryl. Daryl's an ice and grass <laughs> team. Daryl. seven total weaknesses. Wait, I'm sorry. So wait, you want me, <laughs> you want me to put wishy Wachi on his cock? <laughs> so uncomfortable. <laughs> Why is it red? So the cool thing about Daryl is that every time that he uses a move, it first triggers an ability change. So let's say we need to get our stats up turn one. The best move for that would be power up punch, right? Yeah. Wrong! If you click that move, your ability becomes contrary. What? I thought after I made the strongest Pokemon, I would have all of this modeling stuff down. Um, but I don't. I still barely know what the fuck I'm doing, and that's how you get what the fuck? <laughs> this could not have gone worse. He looks like he got hit by a car. Garrison wakes up. He looks in the mirror. What does he see? 
We're about to find out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Garrison. <laughs> that, it is kind of a bay leaf. Now, Daryl's origin pulse actually has 999 power and 100 accuracy. <laughs> No and way. it also triggers desolate land. Looks like Daryl didn't pack his sunglasses. Oh God. I don't think it's possible for us to have the mechanic that Ryan is describing here, but we can definitely get close using other methods. Okay, not, literally 97 levels above doesn't even kill, and we get an attack drop, okay, as intended. So theoretically, this should set up the sun and then also do water type damage, which is now weakened because of the sun. No. I'm not gonna lie, Ryan definitely suggested uh, the hardest Pokemon to mod here. Just take the Hippaniri? Okay, you took it, is the sun up? No. When I have it set so it'll set up the sun, it doesn't do damage, and when I have it do damage, it doesn't set up the sun. If there was a move that like set up the sun as like a secondary effect. Wait. But then you give it the ability as one. Pretty good ability, two abilities in one, right? Yep. Wrong. Oh God. Truant and slow start <laughs> combined. And then- Okay, right off the bat, here's, here's the problem, right? So I tried to edit as one in my last video and I could not figure it out. If we could somehow crack the as one code, oh my God, like not only would that be insane for this project, but for every pro, like it's such, it's such a wall. It's such a wall, man. Oh, I wish I knew how to code. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Did a shockingly low amount of damage, though. And I don't even think... I don't think the sun's up. No. It's like there's infinite possibilities, but the thing that I want to do is right above it. Like, come on. He has a base stat total of 30 and it just keeps getting worse from there. Of 30? That's already 16 points less than Jimbo. If we put 20 in speed, we'll have the, we'll have the speed stat of a Ferrothorn. It's gonna be bad no matter what, but should I take the 30 BST and make it as bad as possible? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should. Seven in every stat except for special attack. All of our moves are physical. I just realized when it comes to Hippo Leaf, we don't have to give him as one to have the effects of Truant and slow start. One and only move of this Pokemon. Only move. And it is Hyper Stall. Hyper Stall. Kind of like Hyper Beam, but instead it has 250 power. Okay. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Except it's kind of like False Swipe, where oh. it can only take a Pokemon down to one health. <laughs> oh, it still has to recharge, by the way. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, dude. But the way Carthu described the move hyper stall. We're gonna have to recharge every other turn anyway. And listen, it's kind of a technicality, right? Like it's not truly true on, but the impact is the exact same. It will not kill no matter what. And then I should have to recharge here. Okay, sick. <laughs> Wait, what level? Level 13! My idea of the world's weakest Pokemon before I went into this was a cute little harmless baby. That, that was my vision. Like what, what happened? Why bother making the world's weakest Pokemon? Hell, why bother making six? <laughs> a full team. Maybe curiosity, obligation. Maybe I just wanted to put a rock in the game because I thought it'd be funny. Um, no, no. The reason why, and I feel bad for lying, but the reason why is because 